In this video I will try to fix uh, Philips CFL light bulb. Uh, 23 watts it consumes. This light bulb worked for uh, two or three hours and then its uh, electrical board just exploded. Don't know if you can see, I will try to find the best position. A resistor and a diode both uh, failed, the diode even has one leg missing, it vaporized and yeah, clearly this board uh, it isn't usable, most likely either the transformer uh, is shorted or uh, one of these, uh, I'm not sure what they are, transistor or triax, not really sure, is, is blown, so yeah, even if I replace this uh, most likely it will uh, blow out again because this is just the effect it's not the the cause and instead of uh, spending time and money to try and fix this particular board i will try to use the board from this cfl tube this has a good board but uh, like you see here the tube itself is uh, worn out it's lived its uh, useful life and now it's bad. So I'm using the board from that. This is uh, 20 watts, so a little bit less than this, but I'm thinking it's enough to, to power this Philips new tube, which is in perfect condition. I just removed the wires from these four connections here. And uh, yeah taken the bulb apart. You can see there it's uh, all black because of the smoke. So yeah, we'll see if this works. Just to give you an idea of how a tube, uh, worn out tube looks like, this is worn out with black uh, spots here and this is a new tube. So new tube working this one black worn out this one so i will take that apart in a moment and see what we do from there okay we are in it was a little bit hard to open this one the philips one uh, opened a lot easier be careful be very careful when working with this because they are uh, high voltage devices so yeah the board looks in very good shape and I'm sure uh, I will be able to use it. If it will power on, that remains to be seen. Okay, both of them are taken apart. The good electronics will fit very easily in the place of the bad one. I will uh, insulate all of this side with uh, temperature resistant tape so I don't have any problems because it's smaller and it, it will move a little bit around probably you can see this tube is black at the end so it's clearly gone so these parts we don't need anymore probably I will keep this capacitor but this one seems to be good so no need to change it for the moment and we will put this all back together. The wires are soldered in place. Now I will just uh, pull the, the heat shrink over and uh, heat it up and then continue. I have also insulated the high voltage wires with temperature resistant insulator. This bulb also had some insulation on and the fact that uh, this board has its uh, pins on both sides and not uh, at one end like this one did 
makes it better uh, for them to be insulated so they don't uh, contact each other. So yeah, now let's continue. I have insulated this board with uh, temperature resistant tape as best as I could because after I attach these wires uh, it will be impossible so it's uh, already done now I just have to uh, take these wires and make them uh, a spiral over these contacts on both sides of the board they are not soldered or anything just a tight spiral so I will do my best to, to do that we'll see how it goes everything is in position I had to also solder these wires because I couldn't do a really really decent job at uh, spiraling them on the contacts I do not know why they were originally not soldered but I hope it will not uh, affect anything badly and yeah, everything insulated, ready to put back together and test. Again, if you decide to do this, be very, very, very careful what you are doing and uh, monitor this light bulb. Do not use it somewhere where it will run by itself. I will use this in my living room and I will be always there when this is lit up. So I can uh, see if something is wrong or overheating or smoking or I don't know but be careful probably if you see one two three weeks everything is fine probably it, it will be fine but don't take any chances with this kind of stuff so let's put it back together with a little bit of glue although it probably doesn't need it but just to be safe and power it on Well guys, this time it seems it did not work. Uh, maybe the voltage is too low for this tube and it can't uh, spark it. The length of the tube is significantly longer, bigger than the one from uh, which I'm using the electrical board. I do not know, maybe even this board has a little bit of a problem and it cannot output its maximum voltage, but sadly didn't work this time. I will just put this aside and wait until one of my uh, other uh, bulbs of this type goes uh, kaput. And, uh, I will use an identical board for this tube until I will also uh, use the life out of this one because it's uh, yeah it's not uh, very good to throw a good tube away if only the electrical board is a problem. So for the moment thanks guys for, for watching we will have to revisit this in a while and do it good that time. And yeah, on my channel you also get the fails, and sometime, sometimes I fail, <laughs> like this time. So, bye bye.